everything we need to do to build, outfit, test a ship is all in-house. There are certain things you can actually test while the ship is alongside the dock. But at the end of the day, the performance of the ship at sea has to be tested. Sea trials are scheduled for about four weeks. You start with the basics, propulsion, navigation, the ability to actually move the ship. Because we also have significant amount of scientific sounders that can only actually be tested at depth. So you have to go out to sea to test those. We make sure all the systems are in set to work conditions and we do our trials for them, make sure they all operate the way they're supposed to operate. So most of my time is spent on troubleshooting when things don't go the way they are. And also demonstrations with uh, Coast Guard for hat signatures. This vessel is a state-of-the-art, multitaskable ship with an incredible amount of scientific capacity. It not only is it a trawler where you can catch live fish, but it is heavily outfitted with acoustic systems that will allow scientists to understand the health of the oceans without actually catching fish. So it's a huge advancement in what they've been able to do in the past. Building a ship, outfitting it, getting it right through to delivery to the company is an incredibly complex process. Highly integrated with both the trades folks at C-SPAN and with our subcontractors. That doesn't happen without people who take a tremendous amount of pride in their work. Building this vessel has been a big part of my life because I've been heavily involved. It's a very rewarding experience seeing it go from first cut of steel built up all the way to a vessel launched and then now operating on the ocean. It's been uh, very labor intensive. I've spent a lot of time away from my family, but I've also uh, made a lot of great friends here. You know, it's a real testament to everyone's dedication that we've got here. Yeah, this project's important to me because uh, this is one of the first large Coast Guard vessels to be built in Canada in over 30 years. This is an opportunity to produce the next generation of new ships for the guys to actually operate and have new equipment that's safer, more modern, way better for them to do their job.